Hi there, and welcome to Ivan's Daily Photo. Today, I'm working with black and white, and the process is pretty much, I'm, I'm looking for photos uh, that I know once I turn them into black and white will work out well. And what I mean by that is that um, it's, a, it's a good exercise to try this and, 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 uh, and, and be able to understand what colors worked out better in black and white, what shapes, uh, what light works out better. And you'll find that light that is very contrasty, uh, hard light tends to work out very well. Um, and if you have colors that are um, a little dark, uh, like red, might tend to turn into black or dark gray. So putting red against black might not work out as, as you think. Uh, so obviously some of this is very fundamental, but a lot of it is, is actually stuff that you learn as you, as you go out and practice. So the more you do this, the more you start seeing what actually work out in black and white versus what can't. And so today I went out and I captured several images uh, with the purpose of knowing that I was going to be turning them into black and white. And this is something that, that it, it might seem simple, but it's actually an interesting exercise. Many people I know, uh, they end up going out, taking some photos and something doesn't work. The light is not correct. Uh, they don't like the photo, how it turns out into color. So they decide later at that point, oh, let me see what it looks into in black and white. And then they come out with something that they like better and, and, and that's, that's okay. But what I want is for you to be able to pre-visualize, have an idea what the photograph is going to look like before you actually click. And that, that seems simple, but it's actually something that takes time and the more you try it, the better you become at it. So let's take a look at turning photos into black and white. So one thing that I, start with to simplify the process is look for something that is very monochromatic white in this particular case it's just something white and silver so it's an easy conversion there's really not much to think about it then start looking for other things in this particular case some things work obviously in color and uh and woods and grains but it, it actually makes for an interesting black and white photograph uh, so there are things that are going to be easier than others uh very simple uh, place of white some white works out very well uh, and sometimes things that are like uh, like green uh, will tend to be kind of gray so think about what you we can we can work with and then that way you can explore and see what things will work out will show you texture and help you understand and see some um, three-dimensionality in into your photograph um, light works out well in helping you define the textures and colors uh, but in black and white things change a little bit so it's a lot about light contrast shapes and uh, so work on it take a look and keep practicing look for things that might might work or not um, so here's a good example of red and black it's dark gray and black uh, and this is a texture of lines and colors uh, and this is pretty much something that is a roof that is uh, actually the colors, the, the, the shadows work out very well. And this is my photo for today. Something that is very simple, but the light is working. So the curve of the left, because the way the shadow is hitting it, it creates this kind of interesting, very uh, kind of three dimensional look, even though it's very, very simple and clean. Uh, is something that I find kind of interesting. So there you have it, a black and white exercise, and that's my photo for today.